Okay. And if you want so I'm, to, you can so I'm recording. It. I'm recording this just for your reference. So we wanna, what we wanna do is just show the community uh, an overview of the, the design current that's that's there right now. And the thing to start with is we're trying to approach it as a as a construction set, where we're building little modules within SketchUp that we can teach people how to cut and paste and stretch and manipulate in a very simple way, such that even with a little half hour lesson, somebody can take these elements and manipulate them. Okay, we're getting some feedback. And we can manipulate them into a form that a novice um, can do to make a realistic building just like we will be building later. So this is part of our construction set approach in extreme manufacturing. It's optimization for change. It's designed for rapid prototyping and quick builds and especially focusing on a swarming process that, that we're developing. So that's just a brief intro, but yeah, Marshall, why don't you continue to what we have so far on a SketchUp? Yep, so for that, for the granularity that we want, uh, we do want to show you explicitly how things go together, uh, but we also want to give you building blocks that you can simply slap into place without having to press every brick. Uh, so in this case, we've got wall segments that you, in this, I've made this one seven feet because that's our standard, uh, and one foot by one foot units. Uh, one foot by, I believe it's six and change uh, base or foundation. And when you give these a stretch, you can very, very quickly uh, draw up a wall. I will mm -hmm. you know, make an L section here. And the pattern here is approximately accurate. Um, I've tried to get it to align properly so that when it ends at the corner, it should end at a brick. We're pretty close. Mm -hmm. um, but if you want to see exactly how it goes together, uh, we'll have a step-by-step -step where, there you go, uh, where you can see the bricks being laid in place mm -hmm. and move them yourself. I'm going to put you over here. Go to the next scene <clears throat> and the next one. Pretty soon, uh, you get an idea for how that course is being laid in. Yeah, uh, that's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. And then we can take just that corner, focus on that, and just do a, a little animation. Um, and the yep. best path for animation that we're considering right now is what? Well, I think um, I think I'm going to go and do screen capture stage by stage mm -hmm. um, because. I don't really have a, a clean way of editing out all the fumbles. Oh, uh, you mean so just a picture, going... just a picture by picture? So you take a screenshot, yeah, if... take the next one, screenshot. Yeah, because mm -hmm. if I if I don't, if I actually do the animation of here's in SketchUp, mm, boink, you know, there's going to be a lot of me fiddling around, adjusting mm -hmm. a snap. You know, there are going to be just so many little elements of fumble that it would take forever to edit them out. So it's probably better to just Get okay. The frames that are crucial. And what about the approach? What's the decision on the approach where we take each single brick being a layer, and then to get the pattern going, you simply turn on one layer after another, and then you see one brick by one brick coming in together. So you, you do all the preparation beforehand. You create, then you create the the layers that you just turn on sequentially one by one. Uh. Well, I mean, you can do that. I think the problem is that you get a glut of, of scenes. Um, so, yeah. Um, I mean, glut of scenes. I mean, animation is good to have a glut of scenes in an animation. In fact, you want, <laughs> want thousands of picture frames. What if yeah. one, one frame goes to one pretty much every click, every fraction of a second, you just turn on another layer that that seems like that would be a nice idea well we can we can try that we can also give that out to the community for somebody who wants to just download this file and do that and show it to us we'd yeah. welcome that as well mm -hmm. yeah i think what i'll do is i'll try to get the frames yeah uh, and then it's probably going to be me muddling around because i'm not sure i was planning on using uh, imovie and okay i'm not sure if i can format it such that i have good timing okay uh, in terms of you know you step forward a couple and then you put a closer in and you want to sort of focus on that closer i'm not sure uh, mm -hmm. okay I don't so so this I have the expertise to make a good movie 
Yeah. So with this, what we have right now in the model, people can take and start playing with that model because the, actually the, the dimensions of the structure are correct. The, what you see there is the dimensions, three feet and so forth, are dimensionally correct for the actual structure we're going to build. So this is a realistic shape that we're working with and we can actually invite the community to simply take, um, uh, contribute to the instructionals. Okay, here's how we build this corner, here's how we build that corner and show, show that in rigorous detail by spreading that out to the community. So that would be a good, good task for anybody. We welcome that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So that's all I wanted to say about SketchUp.